affected, paralyzed, comatose, decadent human race to say, for God's sake, don't you see it's all going? Don't you see your children will inherit ash pits? Don't you get it? There won't be any animals except on old National Geographic programs for them to love and cuddle and cherish. Don't you get it? This love that he's talking about is what he calls, what's called in Persian, eshk. Now, eshk I translate as passion. And that's a pretty good translation, although I shouldn't say it myself. But it's so much more than passion. It's, if you want to have a sense of what eshk in the first line means, look at those Hubble telescopes of exploding supernovas, shooting out billions of flames of purple and green. The ecstatic love of the Godhead that is the creative force of the universe. And even if you're English and are embarrassed by any emotional displays in public, <laughs> you are by your birthright connected to this love. You don't have to do it noisily and theatrically and excitingly like some of us do it. But my God, you have to take the socket of your life and plug it into it. Otherwise, an age like this will drive you nuts. And you won't find the glorious, patient stamina to go on going on when everything seems lost and dark. And if I'm still mad at 61, it is because of this poem, which just says it as it really is. And I really offer it to you in the hope that it will truly inspire you to face what's going on and to become part of the great midwife, warrior, lover force that is now shaping up in the world to do something about what we are dealing with. I wish Mr. Hollingworth would sing this because he has the voice. He has the voice for this stuff. Most modern singers can't sing at all, as we all know. <laughs> Passion burns down every branch of exhaustion. Passion is the supreme elixir and renews all things. No one can grow exhausted when passion is born. So don't sigh heavily with your brow bleak with boredom and irony and cynicism. Look for passion, 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 passion. Futile solutions deceive the force of passion. They are bandits who extort money through lies. Marshy and stagnant water is no cure for thirst, however limpid and delicious it might look. It will only trap you and stop you looking for fresh rivers that could feed and make flourish a hundred gardens just as each piece of false gold prevents you from recognizing real gold and where to find it. False gold will only cut your feet and bind your wings saying, I will remove your difficulties when in fact it is only dregs and defeat in the robes of victory. Run, my friends. Run far away from all false solutions. Let divine passion triumph and rebirth you in yourself. When I rule the world, which is going to be, of course, very, very soon, <laughs> because you can imagine how they want a gay Hindu Christian ruler. <laughs> this is the line that I'm going to have written in front of my considerable Ceausescu model palace. <laughs> it's going to have, let divine passion triumph and rebirth you in yourself. The passion of God that 
created the glory of the creation. The passion of God that seeded us with ecstasy and truth. The passion of God that is heaving in the sea. The passion of God that is flaming in the lightning. The passion of God that is leaping in the dolphin. The passion of God that is running in the cheetah. Let that passion take you over and rebirth you in your real self. And then go out there and kick some serious ass. <laughs>